just massive from Stormzy, the undisputed king of grime. And if you ask Wiley, then I think that's going to be a, a double yes. Bit scared, I think, running for that clash. It's Tim with you on Switch Radio. And I'm delighted to say, joining me in the studio, two legends. We have Izzy Loke yes, and dude. Red Loheem. How are yes. you guys doing? All good, all, all good. good bro. And, you know, I love it when radio becomes this kind of platform because you guys, like Red and Izzy, are meeting for the first time the right first now, aren't you? That is very, very So, right. I mean, Correct. Izzy, I think I was saying, introducing uh, this show, that you're like a friend of the show at this point because you've kind Definitely. of... We've had you in a couple of times. Like, we know each other really well. Yeah. If you ever met my girlfriend, that is what happened. <laughs> <laughs> when we were doing the, my love. football tournament that it was the people who were sort of like the families and friends and people who weren't interested in football. Um, your wife, my girlfriend, was just like, yeah. this is a bit boring, yeah. just hang out as like. <laughs> but you're back now and it seems like you've started 2020 with a bang. We've got three Respect new me. tracks for you on here. I'm sure we've got even more, but we're going to be spinning. So what, what have you been up to uh, sort of end of 2019, start of 2020? So end of 2019, Grave. Um, just released a new track last week. Mm. On Valentine's Day, as you is it a romantic one? It's a romantic. It's got to be a romantic, yeah. <laughs> a romantic one, definitely. So yeah, it's keeping busy, definitely. Mm. And um, so Red Lahim, like how how did you connect with Izzy? And, and I think you you were saying off mic that similarly you have a kind of you're an MC, a rapper, but with with maybe a positive message behind what you're what you're saying. Yeah. So um, I've been rapping for a couple of years now. Um, been playing music as a drummer for quite a while. Yeah. Um, I was lucky enough to meet up with uh, an American rapper called High Res. Mm. Um, I saw him at a show last year, um, connected, hang out, did a few shots of tequila. As you do. As That's you do. All as the you best do. relationships begin yeah, with shots yeah, yeah. of tequila. Passed on some of my tracks. His manager hit me up saying we're doing another UK tour. Mm. Would you like to be on it? I was like, of course. <laughs> yeah. um, and we've just kind of built up the show and we were wanting to get another um, local act involved and so I just looked on on, on the interweb on the interweb on the interwebs as, as the, yeah, yeah. Oh, I hope there's a lot of music on there these days uh, just a few yeah, yeah. and um, <laughs> I come across with my man over here and um, I I liked Connected. his style yeah I liked his message that's the whole thing we were going for and I felt it would fit the show really well so we hit up connected straight away mm. and then straight connect. yeah straight Definitely. away so and you think that's something that's quite important with like i mean any music but but rap music especially to have a message behind it i think we've seen like it, it can easily become something that is more i guess about flexing but you've always is like as far back as street knowledge and i'm sure even before then been very yeah, conscious about the, the, the words that you're saying and the impact that they have in your community well when i first started rapping like i'd rap you know Probably the, the standard, yeah, yeah, the standard rap. But then when I had kids, I thought, you know, I gotta basically clean game changer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. So Put a more responsible <laughs> message. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, that's what I like to do with the message. Yeah. Definitely, too. definitely, definitely. Well, we're gonna be chatting uh, a lot about, you know, the work you guys have been putting in, and a crazy story Izzy has about Switch Radio actually. But I've I've got to ask you first, like Red Low Heem. Yeah. So where does that name come from then? I, I was just writing it down to remember. It's a very right. cool name. Right. So there's several se several aspects to it. Um, I'm from Redditch. Amazing. Red. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. I've got ginger hair. Red. Red. Um, like Mayday. Shut up. <laughs> there we go, there we go, there we go. Shut, 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 shut yeah, had something to do with that. <laughs> so there, there's a little things. I was trying to figure out, like, what can I do? I want a name that's going to be different, but also not some, like, egotistical name. No disrespect to anyone that's got, like, some crazy-ass name, but I'm just <laughs> some, some white dude from Redditch. I wanted something, do you know what a I mean? A little something, more down to it. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, it, there's a, I don't know if anyone's heard of the Elohim and it's, it's another word for God. And I think it stems from the Jewish okay. kind of aspect, not that I'm Jewish, um, yeah. but I really like that kind of flow with the yeah. Elohim. Yeah. You um, like that I like that. And I was like, well, God's a creator. I'm a creative person. Right, and I'm not going to go with this, but... So you're not like Kanye West comparing yourself to God, yeah? Not but, but at all. Just, just, <laughs> but as a creative it. aspect, there's lots that I do. 
So I kind of put the red twist on it and made like the it. red loheem. I googled it. There were jack going on. I mean, I, mean yeah, I was going to say, I feel like on the, the Google optics, you're not going to get anyone no. else stealing your results there. No, and that, and that, was, for you. that was another thing I wanted it to be. <laughs> Absolutely quite unique. Yeah, yeah. Sick. Well, we're going to be chatting to these boys uh, a lot. We're going to be finding out what's going on. But first of all, we've got to see what Izzy's been up to. We're going to give Grave a spin. So talk to me about this one, Izzy. So Grave is featuring Kalu. Yeah. And Lizzie D. Mm -hmm. And basically, the, listen to the message behind it. Yeah, it's a clear one. It's right here on Switch Radio. My name is Tim Senna, and this is a debut on the station. Simply timeless from Adele. I just think she's one of those artists that has a voice that will last forever. But I've got to put you on the spot now. Uh, Izzy, who has a better voice, uh, Lizzie D or Adele? Obviously, Lizzie. Obviously, Lizzie. <laughs> you, you heard it, guys. You heard it, guys. Oh, he knows the score. Yeah. It is Switch Radio. <laughs> I've got uh, Izzy Loke uh, and Red Lowe, Heem in the studio, and you, you heard Grave before the break, um, followed by Adele, of course. Uh, we're gonna, we've got another track of yours coming up, Izzy, and it's interesting to me that you've got one track called Grave, and the next one's going to be called Life. So I, I guess it's like, you know, the beginning and the end of life, a big part of what inspires you in the music. I know you, you, you've become a... I was going to say you've become a father again. I know that's not how it works, but you, your wife has recently given birth again right. so i guess it's kind of on your mind a lot like the start of new life is that well lizzie actually basically is singing life in the hook yeah so basically we just said that's what it's going to be called <laughs> <laughs> it's, that's that's that got to be there. <laughs> great profound message yeah but we can confirm that the switch radio was on in a hospital you were switch telling me radio was on as a doctor as doctor sorry was doing a c-section wow. I was like, wow. <laughs> that is incredible. That um, is a lot. This is the mad thing about radio. Like, you can just be presenting a show and you have no idea who is listening and what they're doing. I know. But I, I feel like if, if the presenter had known, that would be so much pressure. Like, if I knew that, I'd be like, oh, man, I'm just going to start playing this music. Yeah, and start yeah. the she thing actually about. came into the world um, and the, the song that was playing was um, Too Unlimited, No oh, Limit. There you go. Wow. That's beautiful. Which I'd never forget. That is the power of radio. <laughs> that is why I just love being here. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we keep but nah, and and we're, we're going to be playing like three songs of yours. We noticed that Red and Izzy haven't been on the track together yet. No, but yeah. I'm, am I right in thinking that that is a collab that it's is too happen. too happy? One thousand percent. One thousand percent. Definitely. Definitely. So have you got a, a studio somewhere in Redditch that you record? I, I don't um, know what the, the scene is like down there. Um, I record from my house. That's amazing. So yeah. attic studio slash basement. Slash lounge, God, while lounge I'm juggling the whole kids. House. <laughs> That's the one. Hey, yep. do, do you know who else is from Redditch as well? Harry Styles. Yes. True facts. Yes. And also right. Tom. Tom from the indie band Riskus. But until they get massive, that's not as much of a a big kind of deal. I like to make it one. Yeah. yeah. But so the rich <laughs> musical heritage of Redditch continues. Yeah, it does. I don't know, do, do you think growing up there you were like aware of much of a internalised scene or do, is it just attached to the Birmingham one? Because it's kind of halfway between like Hereford and Worcester and um, Birmingham, isn't it? Yeah, I'd say that I spent a lot of time playing music in Redditch and in Birmingham and all over. Um, yeah. Being a drummer before being a rapper, um, I've done a lot with that. So this is, this is fairly new to me. Definitely. Um, be, doing more solo stuff. Um, but yeah, 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 definitely. I can. I'd say Birmingham's definitely got a bit of scene for for hip hop. And yeah. That. Are you aware of the the rap scene in Birmingham? Because I I think there's the grime scene, which you could argue is maybe like a parallel to it with people like J.K. who are getting really well known. People like um, Merkage Dave, who's just killing it at the moment. Yeah. But that's a, yeah. a little, I guess, different in spirit to a lot of the music you guys. It make. is. It is. Um, I'm aware of some of it. Um, but again, because I'm so new to putting myself out there, yeah, um, and being at actually performing, <laughs> and being out there, yeah, well, this, so. this will be my third live show ever. So that's amazing. Do you, do you like performing or do you find it a bit nervous? No, I love performing. That's good. I love performing. I, um, are you the, I don't think I've seen you perform amazingly, Izzy. I'm trying to remember. Maybe at a BMA's event, but... Maybe. Is that I something... Love it. I love performing love it, yeah. as well. I think it's the best part of it. It is, it is definitely. definitely the best part. Yeah, definitely. And I think you've had a lot of experience as a personal trainer, that's haven't right, you? So yeah, it, yeah. is it important yeah, to keep yourself... What, it's the it's same kind of... I'm performing every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah performing yeah. every day. High <laughs> I've always yourself. looked on that as practice... For when music. it comes to performing, yeah. that's cool. The music, so definitely. you're cool under pressure. And again, yeah. with the football, he, I didn't perform well <laughs> when we did our charity tournament. But Izzy was there. He, he, he'd run like he could run 10k and then just be like, 
barely broken a sweat and I'm there to like <laughs> I was there like a thousand metres when we did this football tournament ready to like pass out that was a wicked <laughs> no. day though that was really enjoyed no, that thank you man, man. Good, man. what's awesome though is we when we played that track Grave just now Kalu's got a verse in it and you knew every word to Kalu's verse as well so when you're collabing with someone do you really like invest in what they bring to the song definitely, as well as yeah. definitely especially when it comes to perform as well Exactly. I'm going to speak to you. <laughs> like, yeah. I, mean, I saw Mayday bring out Kalu at a BMA's event. Yeah. I think that was late last year, or it might be really at the start of this year. But that, like, there's clearly like, I, what the thing I love about Birmingham, it seems like these little mini groups appear in the scene. So it's like yeah, it's we had Naomi Dawes who has collaborated with Mayday. We, she brought out El Sam yeah. at a recent gig. Yeah. You see, like in the indie scene, you know, bands like. Yeah. Carcosa are friends with Glass Ceilings who are actually waiting in the lobby by coincidence and then like Sugar Thief and Violet are friends and yourself you know you've got this nice little group with Kalu and I think and Mayday, and Mayday yeah, like tapes, you, yeah. tapes yeah, and there's yeah. that real kind of you're on the same wavelength yeah it's it's good Mayday actually um, it, it done a group for us with the Street Knowledge remix yeah yeah so I was talking to everybody in that's that the so other sick. day still as well sorry man so, that's yeah. nuts but anyway, and, and perfectly on that note we're going to play one of Kalu's songs now that's right so this is the one life that I mentioned it features yourself and Lizzie as well that's and right it, is there a big message behind the start of this definitely song? Yeah. definitely like with a knife crime and stuff like that yeah, so just that's the message trying to thinking push before you that, act yeah. and yeah like I say I was, a, I was at school with uh, Depp's man actually uh, I right. think he's probably one of the most high-profile victims of knife crime with like such a promising Bless. rap career and his mum is now like going all around schools and campaigning so especially in Birmingham you know just like it's not worth it and it's sick to see you guys putting out this message so it's right here on Switch Radio Definitely. beautiful start from Lizzie this is life another massive track Right here on Switch Radio, the beautiful team up of Sanfell and Sigma. Every single time Sigma's on a track and it's a collab, you know it's going to be huge. It is Tim with you here on Switch Radio. Still joined in the studio by Red Lohim and Izzy Loke. And we're going to be saying goodbye very shortly, but we've heard two beautiful tracks already. Uh, and I just wanted to hear from both of you guys like what the, what the plan is for 2020 now, because we're like sitting in February. And I guess if you're like all, all the artists right now, you'd assume are kind of thinking, you know, what's the action plan for this year? Have you guys got any... So like, new music, definitely. Yeah, do, you want, yeah. do you want to speak on the show, Red? Uh, yeah, sure. So Birmingham, we are performing with High Res and Emilia Rojas um, at Scruffy Murphy's hey, nine, okay. yeah, 19th nice of March 19th of March yeah, from yeah. 7 o'clock you need to get down there to amazing big artists in America right now Jarez has just hit one and a half million views That's on his YouTube. That's incredible. I've just, I feel like I've heard Horace. I'm not, I'm not sure you, where. I'll tell you what, most people probably would have seen him when he's either, he does a McDonald rap and he goes into McDonald's <laughs> and he orders his meal. Maybe I have. Yeah, maybe, maybe maybe that's <laughs> or you've seen him as well. I um, know they did a subway thing with some local rappers in Birmingham about a year ago. Yeah, that it's, was it's that similar sort of vibe. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. So and Scruffy Murphy's, I think that's kind of more of a, a metalish venue. It is. So is his is his rap a little more on... not at all? Oh, not interestingly, at all. it was well. just one of the venues in Birmingham that they could was, get hold was of. Available. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that's can amazing. I say you can get the tickets at onlyforthefans.com? Yeah, that's right. I thought you were going to say onlyfans.com. For <laughs> I was like, well, okay, okay. Onlyforthefans.com. <laughs> yeah, only for the fans. Check it out there. Um, and I mean, I feel like the rate you, you work at Izzy is amazing. Like you've got Thanks a great man. new song. It's, we notice on introducing, especially like, oh, another upload from Izzy, and, it, yeah. and it's not like it's filler. It's you know every time it's something big. So Thanks do you, do you feedback, think man. about? Oh, my pleasure. Do you think about putting them together in an album or an EP, or do you just happily like? I was thinking about that. You know, I was thinking about that, but I'm just gonna just release music. You know, you know frequently. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And in case. Nobody knows still at this point, even after listening to this interview, you need to tell them which cues us into the next song. <laughs> the final one with, uh, it's another collab with Lizzie. Is this the newest song you said, the new single? Yeah, yeah, this was brought out on, I brought this out on Valentine's Day. So a bit of so, a, a bit of a love song? Yeah, definitely to Lizzie. Did, did you have, did you, people can relate to it as in well. fact, did, did you get to do much on Valentine's Day or was she just having to rest at the moment? Yeah, I was, yeah, in, I was, I was, in, I was in the hospital <laughs> on Valentine's Day. <laughs> That's real romantic. <laughs> well, I brought, managed to um, bring that to you. Get some roses. Yeah. That's beautiful, man. And if people want to check you guys out, where should they go on social media? If they're listening in and like what they hear. At Izzy underscore Loke on Insta. Loke is spelled L-O-C. Yeah, L-O-C. Mine is at Red Loheen. Red Loheem, and that is H-I-E-M. 
So we've got it. Um, we've so got it. sick chatting to you guys. Thank you very much. And I think there'll be footage on uh, Red's YouTube or whatever because we've got a filming going on in the Yay! studio right now. <laughs> so you can check that one out next. But playing out this interview is going to be the, the dynamic duo, probably the most iconic duo in the Birmingham music scene of Izzy Loke and Lizzie D. Woo -woo. And Valentine's Day special, it is Tell Em. Woo woo! Yeah. Big up to you, man. So respect for that, bro. Yeah, yeah, my pleasure. Thank, Thank you. So much. Respect, bro. Thank you. Very much. Respect. Respect. Pleasure, man. Love it. Love, Love it. it. That was awesome. Yeah. I don't do it for the stunt. I've been self made from the jump. I ain't going out like a punk. Why you getting high, getting drunk, chasing women in the club? Me, I'm chasing after them bucks. Ain't none of this luck. This was all planned at the gate. Making sure my family straight. And before I. Be shut up with that bullshit and let me love you. The way it started off, thought I'd never trust you. Yeah, you had somebody that you dealt with. Yeah, but I played it cool though. I never rush you. You went from sneaking in the bathroom for mirror pics to a shut. Yeah. Every day as I sit and chill, my mind wanders on the path that's real Consciously, unconsciously, most probably why these things that haunt me Why do you create so much kill? Have the ability to heal the ills of society But that's why to me, I find it hard to see the light of me To make a difference of this hypocrisy we call democracy Every day learning, if you're not enjoying what you're doing, it's a burden Still I big up every person, fireman, doctor, soldier, nursing we all here for a purpose Whatever you do, make sure it's worth it Dry your eyes